All right. Um, sup, y'all. Uh, Tracy here. Um, we're going to do another review of a uh, upcoming trailer. Um, I haven't, I haven't been spoiled for this one, but from what it looks like on the, the, like, uh, previews and stuff, like, not previews, but, like, on the thumbnail, and, uh, just the name of it, I don't know, it just doesn't sound like something I'm gonna like, but, don't judge a book by a cover, you know, uh, we'll see. Uh, the truth is, I don't like first-person shooters, even, even, like, like, Overwatch is kind of fun, it's a beautiful game, but it's still a first person shooter and first person shooters just don't really do it for me, it don't really, don't really get me figuratively hard, so to speak, it just kind of bores me, I like having a story or a dungeon crawling if there is no story, more than, more than guns, but we'll see, we'll see. This is called Crackdown 3. Now, I've never heard of Crackdown 1 or 2, so I'm going into this pretty much blind, and I have no fucking clue what to expect. Uh, so, here we go. Let's, uh, start it up. May contain content inappropriate for children. Some people look out on the city and just see likes. Good thing I'm not a child. Yeah, he's got a gun. For a better future. But what happens when the animation's beautiful, the and he's sexy. We do what we always do. But we go to work. We go to work. Ooh. The team at Reagent Games is proud to bring you our vision of the ultimate sandbox. Hmm. Explore the Got you. futuristic city. A sandbox Race game. Race through the streets in a transforming vehicle. And use your powerful abilities to stop a ruthless criminal empire. But uh, first person the shooter. Is the classic though. gameplay in a brand new way. Crackdown 3 is set in a dangerous new city. A once glistening metropolis overrun by violent crime and corruption. I mean sounds interesting it really does life in gangland is an intricate web of dangerous interconnections a dynamic ecosystem with multiple moving pieces a criminal hierarchy to be dismantled any way you choose hmm any way you choose will blow up the way you play games i like today. choices By introducing a revolutionary new multiplayer experience i don't do multiplayer i do like for rpgs but not by connecting to the Microsoft Cloud, play with 20 multiplayer first-person shooters. And it is cool that the buildings fall in shape. Well, this... It's not just what you can do with a gun. It's the opportunities you can create with destruction. With destruction. Crackdown 3. Two thousand sixteen. I think it's been pushed back though. Forward. Xbox One. Whatever. Now three four. Um To be honest, I I I uh hundred percent don't see myself buying this game. I don't see myself playing even a demo. Maybe a demo. Maybe if it's story based, I like first person shooters if they're story based, but it doesn't seem story based. Uh, like I like, I like uh, Fallout, for example. That's a first person short shooter game that I enjoy. Uh, there are some, I like Resident Evil, I don't know, I know it's third person. Uh, I like shooting games as long as there's a story behind it and like interactive story, not just like, oh yeah, here's the story and then the end go shoot a bunch of people online that's not really my cup of tea that being said for people that it is their cup of tea it looks unique like uh, I usually say most shooter all shooter games are the same thing over and over and over again but it looked pretty cool I mean if you get to like break down the buildings and fucking destroy them and shit that's pretty fucking cool so I'll give it that um but yeah all right I'm gonna go on and do another reaction to another trailer, so 
like, comment, subscribe, etc., etc., and uh, just show love, and yeah. Hopefully one day I can play some of these games for y'all, because yeah. Alright, peace out.